Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you what I found today at the thrift store, so let's get started. This is my latest find at the thrift store. It's a bread box and I'm planning on painting it. The first thing I already did was cleaned the grease and the grime that was on it. Um, since it was in a kitchen, there was a good bit of oil and grease and what I used for that was just this little cleansing pad that I got at the Dollar Tree uh, with some Dawn dish soap and hot water. And now I'm gonna complete um, the cleaning with going in each little groove here with the toothbrush with hot water and Dawn dish soap. I'm going to use 120 grit sandpaper to scuff up to prepare for the paint. So it's just time to prime now. I'm taking just an all purpose primer after I have cleaned, I've wiped down all that dust from sanding off. Okay, I have the first coat of primer on and now it's time to sand in between coats and that's going to make you achieve the most smoothest paint as long as you sand in between all your coats. So I'm using 400 grit sandpaper. Now it's time to just wipe it down with a rag. I usually use an old t-shirt to do that, to get the dust off. And just take your hand across it to make sure it's nice and smooth before you go on with your first coat of paint. This is just a sample that I got at Lowe's. It's just a neutral white. If you get little speckles in your paint, it's okay because after this dries, we're gonna sand again with the 400 grit to get those out before we do our last coat of paint. let a little bit of that dry and then we'll come back to it. So I measured the direct center because this stencil isn't exactly how long I want it to be. So I'm gonna have to do it in a couple sections here, but I'm gonna start with this little swirly section and go with just the line, and then I'm gonna move these to the corner. So now I've lined up this side here with the lines and where I want this little leaf to be in the corner. And 
since it's not sitting flat because of it being in the corner here, I really have to press down on the stencil. to do is extend this line down along here so I need to find the stencil and line it back up. When you run into a roadblock, don't think there isn't a way out or through it. In the Old Testaments, when the Israelites fled Egypt, they got to the ocean and the army was behind them. They thought there was no way out, but God made a way. He did the impossible and parted the sea. Remember, there is always a way. I didn't have a stencil for lettering this small. I printed out on my printer the style of lettering I wanted and flipped the page over and held it up to a window. I traced in dark pencil the back side of the letters. And now I'm going to trace it onto the box. And hopefully it will transfer onto the back. I'm not sure if it will work or not, but I'm going to try it. Okay, so it is working. And that will give me a guide for when I go to paint. So since I made this a French bread box with the French words, I decided to make it more French country. And so I'm going to put some glaze over the top of it. And I'm just using a damp old sock to do that. So I've sanded everything again, and now I'm going to give it a coat of polycrylic. Here is the finished bread box. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.